Maraming matutulungan yung uh, yung PDAF ko. Um, in fact, ngayon, ang dami nung humingi sa akin ng uh, medical assistant. Hindi po kailangan ang panukalang batas para i-abolish yung PDAF. Mauwi talaga sa awa yan kasi marami dyan nagsasabi na ayaw nila ng PDAF. Marami nagsasabi dyan, ito ayaw nyo, bigay nyo sa amin. Must find a way to make sure that the PDAF is implemented properly. What can be assured is that the investigation will be thorough and will be impartial. A whopping 10 billion peso scam involving at least five senators and 23 representatives made it to the headlines of newspapers, television, and cyberspace. The said scam allegedly involves a certain Janet Lim Napoles, the suspected syndicate leader of a bogus non-government organization where pork barrel funds were purposely maneuvered. Private investment po, tsaka sasama ko po kay sa Indonesia. Due to a political firestorm concerning pork barrel, some groups call for radical reforms, including its total abolition. But the other side refuses, saying that it will just create tougher problems. The pork barrel system, officially called as Priority Development Assistance Fund, or PDAF, has been in place since the year 1990. It seeks to channel financial subsidies directly to local government units for projects such as infrastructure and healthcare. Congressmen can receive up to 70 million pesos, while a senator gets at least 200 million pesos annually. According to the report of PCIJ, or Philippine Center for Investigative Journalism, President Noynoy Aquino is the first president to purposely fatten the budget for pork barrel from more than 24 billion pesos in 2012 to 30 billion pesos this year. With this setup, do we see even a trace of hope in calling it a day for the pork barrel, or it's just another day for the so-called great equalizer to which the politicians' constituents pin their hopes on? Welcome to Opposing Views, a hard, straightforward discussion of today's most pressing issues. Time and again, the long-standing system of pork barrel has always been the focal point of many controversies, which include blame games and casting doubts to some political names. But in the end, things remain the same, so we ask the question, is it high time to abolish the Priority Development Assistance Fund or Pork Barrel? Good evening, I'm Rod Dipopuceno, and this is Opposing Views. All right, joining us tonight in our discussion whether to abolish pork barrel or not is uh, ACT teacher party list representative Antonio Tino. Representative Tino, your take. Well, uh, I am for the abolition of the pork barrel system and I along with uh, some of my colleagues in the Makabayan block uh, filed House Bill 1535 calling for the abolition not only of the legislative pork barrel or the Priority Development Assistance Fund, but also the so-called presidential pork barrel. This includes the President's Social Fund and some other funds. So uh, we are for the abolition of all pork, pork funds. Barrel. All right. With us also is Isabella, 1st District Representative Rodito Albano III. Uh, good evening, Congressman Albano. Yeah, good evening, uh, Rod. Uh, your take on yeah. the pork barrel? Me, yeah, I'm for the retention of the pork barrel. Mm -hmm. uh, we really need those funds in our district, especially also, I, I can speak for some of my, uh, the lawmakers. No? Mm. They also need their funds uh, in their district. So. All right. Congressman Tino, uh, your thoughts on that, that the whole budget is really uh, one big pork, yeah, one and big then you're, you're going to split it up. Well, so. I, uh, I was going to say that uh, the, whole, the power of the purse of Congress is over the whole national budget, and the whole national budget is supposed to uh, address the needs of all constituents, no? whether... Mm. Uh, district uh, yeah, in the, the district, district or uh, mm -hmm. nationally mm -hmm. no so uh, hindi nakadepende ito dun sa specific allocation na tinatawag nating PDAF yep. going you you asked the question regarding the origins of yeah. uh, pork, pork barrel, barrel. Mm -hmm. in fact this is a term from US politics mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in the US the term pork barrel has a derogatory, derogatory you know, it's, it sounds connotation. bad <laughs> it, it, it is itself, bad diba? Uh -huh. No, uh, it's it, it's meant to uh, precisely to criticize a certain kind of politics that depends on a politician doling out 
mm -hmm. uh, government resources to get votes mm -hmm. instead of a politics based on uh, platform, mm -hmm. on uh, good policies, and so on. Mm -hmm. No, eh, dito lang sa Philippine context, uh, uh, you know, it, it's only here where politicians use the term in a you know in a without parang, shame. Yeah, without shame. Yeah, no, yeah. No? Now, uh, can I ask um, you, is is the pork barrel the root cause of this large scale corruption? Yes well, or no? uh, we've we've long known that uh, mm -hmm. pork barrel has uh, uh, and corruption go hand in hand, but what's different now is the magnitude and scope mm -hmm. of the is this this large network of corruption centered on the pork barrel mm -hmm. uh, that we're seeing with this, uh, you know, uh, the Janet Lim Napoles network of fake NGOs, mm -hmm. and originally only 28 legislators were named. As being involved, but subsequently, uh, you know, more and more. more uh, now it's up to yeah. 90 plus legislators who have been named as in one way or other channeling their funds right. to these uh, uh, bogus NGOs funding right. ghost projects. All right. Now, uh, Congressman uh, Albano, uh, your, your thoughts on that? Is it, uh, what he said is it's not the fault of the pork, mm -hmm. it's the fault of the one using the pork. It's okay. how you use the pork. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sino yung gumagamit ng pork? No, parang, ang may kasalanan. Oh. Pero yung pork mismo, oh. ano naman kasalanan ng pork? Parang, parang money is the root of all evil. Yeah, parang exactly. Eh, oh, ano kasalanan ng money? So, Congressman Natinio, uh, a point has been made here, no? na parang we, we can't put all the, the discretion nga of, on, on, on spending this money in, in the executive. And the reason for the pork barrel is that the legisl uh, legislators, such as yourselves, and uh, all the other congressmen and senators, can also allot for, for their constituents. Uh, what's your take on that? Because um, I guess what we're saying here is if there's no PDAF or PDAF, then it, you leave it all to the agencies and parang delikado yan. So what, what, what's your take on that? Well, uh, the thing with the pork barrel is it, it's, a, it's a specific amount of funds, uh, but the allocation of which is left to the discretion of an individual legislator. Mm -hmm. no? Uh, and that there's the, the, there therein lies the problem, no? Mm. Bakit uh, paano gagamitin ng congressman yung se, yung nung 70 million niya annually na PDAF? Paano gagamitin ng senator 200 million? Mm. It's all up to him where he puts it, no? Mm. It's on his own individual discretion. Mm. Uh, this is different from uh, Congress as a body uh, openly deliberating, uh, and it's uh, in a process open to the public kung saan ilalagay ang buong pera ng gobyerno. And let us all collectively as a body decide how to allocate these so funds it, mm -hmm. rather than leave it to the discretion of this and that. And as we've seen, it's so easily abused. Yeah. So you know? you're saying that uh, a small road in some barrio has to be discussed by the Congress as a whole? <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm just saying, uh, I'm just uh, I'm asking. Exactly. That. And mm -hmm. that was done, you know, that was done before, yung mm -hmm. line item budgeting. Congress, what you're yeah. suggesting Albanus. is just transparency. Mm -hmm. Uh, kung transparent yung the entire Congress and transparent din kami lahat, mm. wala namang ganyang mangyayari. Na, mm. no? The pork barrel allotted to you, you account for that, di ba? You, yeah, no, you, we, we don't even touch that. Eh. Mm -hmm. eh, we, we just tell the agency na, kasi may menu. Eh. Mm -hmm. The executive give us a, gives us a menu of where, to spend. Menu of where to, spend. to spend it, di ba? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we just tell the agency, oh, ibigay mo ito dito sa barangay na ito, ibigay mo ito sa, ba, sa, sa town na ito, ibigay mo itong pera nito, bahala na sila. Right now though, and it's about politics, it's about perception, di ba? Do you, do you feel the need, uh, and I think the perception is for, for, for most people, is that pork barrel is an evil thing. Do you feel the need to defend uh, the, the pork barrel, uh, especially in the light of this scam? Yeah, of course. Because I didn't use it. Uh, I, I use it sparingly, di ba? Mm. Uh, my pork barrel nga, no, sa last, my, my dad pork barrel, hindi pa niya ginalaw mm -mm. This, this year. Mm -mm. Na, ano ito? There's some people naman who spend it uh, nicely. You, I, you, had, you had pork barrel allotted to you. Mm -hmm. you, you, you never used it? We did. You did? In okay. the, well, I, I, it's, this is only my second term. Okay. So in our first term, we... We uh, nominated projects, mm -hmm. and uh, some of it was uh, the, the funds for some of it was released by DBM, mm -hmm. and some. Why is that? Curiously, why, why would they not re release? What well, it, it, this is one of the issues we have with the pork barrel: is it's used by Malacanang uh, in order to control or influence uh, Congress, mm -hmm. no? 
mm. carrot and stick, precisely. Right. <laughs> so right. if you don't tow the Malacanang line, mm. then you can be punished, and the way they do it is by uh, withholding the release mm. of your pork barrel, which is the case. Maybe uh, before. And, mm. That was before also, uh, maybe. Well, the, uh, the, we, uh, have, we have a different president now. Well, the, this happened uh, uh, under mm. the Aquino administration. Uh, 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 you okay. know, as I said, it, my right. first term was just the previous Congress. And let's not uh, uh, make light of this fact. No, In mm. fact, the pork barrel is a major instrument by which uh, the president or the executive can subvert or undermine well, the separation of powers mm -mm. and the checks and balances. So you're, you're saying that he can that use Congress it as kind of a, I won't, I mean, I use it exactly. as in a loose term, like a bribe? Can I? Yes, well, uh, let's take a concrete example. Under the uh, Arroyo administration, how was uh, the former president able to insulate herself from impeachment? Mm -hmm. you know, there were four impeachment attempts, mm -hmm. but how was she able to protect herself, you know? By ensuring the loyalty of the majority of congressmen through by, the, by the, the, the release, release of force. Pag pumirma ka lang nung time na yun, pumirma ka dun sa impeachment complaint, wala, ka nang, ah. wala ka nang pida. Hindi naman tatagal yung, yung mga ganun eh. Kasi na-institutionalize naman natin yung mga parusa dyan sa mga... That's why, sabi niya nga niya, now is, she's in jail, di ba? Mm. So, so hindi so, rin nakaligtas. So mm. it's a matter of institutionalizing naman yung, yung mm. safeguards dyan sa pork mm. barrel na yan. Now, it, it's not bad actually. Uh, yung pork barrel, it's the one using it mm -hmm. that makes it bad. Is it a question, uh, I'd like to throw this to, to you, uh, to both of you, is it a question of amount? It's not a question of amount. Oh, sa akin, okay na yung amount na, 70 million na uh, year. Yeah. Kung, kung pwede nga, dagdagan pa, mas maganda eh. Kung baga, mm -hmm. We're talking about the whole PDAF, mm -hmm. just, we're just talking about legislators, that's 27 billion pesos, all in all. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, PDAF of... Uh, 290 or so mm -hmm. congressmen and, and women and 24 senators. Who control so we're, we're talking about uh, a significant, significant amount. All right. amount 27 of billion out of mm -hmm. 2.1 trillion? That's yes. not even also 1% na naman. All right. All right. Okay. The discussion is really heating up here, but uh, let's uh, have a feel of the pulse of our viewers through our online poll. Our question is, is it high time to abolish pork barrel? Now, 55% said yes, abolish pork barrel. And those who remain optimistic about this is uh, no, that means no, 45%. Now, to join the discussions online, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash solar opposing views or follow us also uh, on Twitter at opposing underscore views or use the hashtag opposing views. We'll take a short break. More on the pork bell issue when opposing views returns. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. You're still watching Opposing Views. Still with us are ACT Teacher Party List Representative Antonio Tino and Isabella, First District Representative Rodito Albano III. And we're still discussing uh, if, it's a high, if it's high time to abolish the controversial pork barrel. Now, we were, we were having this discussion uh, yeah. of the air. Um, do you think that having pork barrel or the extent of having the pork barrel is a, an indication of our maturity as a democ democratic country. Yes, should be. Yeah. The cage of maturity here. But do you think we're ready for that? Do you think we're mature enough for that? I don't think so. Uh, uh, people distrust their, their officials here. Uh, okay. It's always anti-government. Right. Siyempre, lagi may suspicion mm -hmm. about anybody. Mm -hmm. Kahit sa pinakamaliit na rank na lang ng police, suspicioso pa yung tao In sa... In my view, the uh, existence of the pork barrel system is precisely a symptom of uh, our uh, feudal political culture. No, it's not truly democratic. Um, why? Because uh, feudal, uh, because uh, the pork barrel is what uh, fuels patronage. Pagka merong maralita na may sakit, bakit sa ating lipunan kailangan tumakbo pa sa congressman para makahingi ng, ng medical assistance? Di ba ang dapat, kung totoong may karapatan siya bilang mamamayan, dumiretso siya sa public hospital at yung public hospital na yon 
eh, may sapat na pondo para uh, mabigyan siya ng serbisyo. But is the system like that, uh, Congressman Albano? Like, can I just uh, go, if I needed a help, for example, I go to a public hospital, I need help, can I go to my local congressman and the congressman just gives me money from your pork? Does it work that way uh, when it comes to pork? I don't think it works that way. The congressman has to identify where he puts his pork. Mm. Now, supposing he puts two million in that hospital, mm. then the, the, the that citizen can go to that hospital and ask for the pork of the congressman there. Oh. Pero, so, so, pero so, dito, alam mo naman mm. na ang sistema jan kailangan yung yung uh, constituent mo. May dalak, may bit bit na guarantee letter na tinatawag mo oh. sa opisina mo, which exactly. uh, which indicates mm. that you uh, you agree. To, uh, to to give money to this uh, constituent and you even specify the amount. Pero kung so, hindi lang basta-basta yung... pwedeng pero, pumunta ron. Pero kung mamatay na yung tao, tatanong yung baba ko, binoto, binoto, binoto mo ba ako? <laughs> <laughs> tatanong yung baba yun, siyempre, uh, nasa konsensyon mo na yun. Alam, alam uh, mo na, there's such a thing as a pork buffet menu, uh, as we mentioned earlier. Na there, there's a list, di ba? There's a yeah. list of items that the... Uh, the, the, the congressman or the, the senator, right? Because uh, the senators also have pork barrel, I can spend on. And most of it is spent on roads, and, but there's also financial assistance for general programs. Uh, yeah. uh, however, uh, do you think, uh, Congressman Tino, that having this identification in a, in a menu uh, lessens uh, the suspicion of people? Not at all. The, the menu, which has existed for many years, uh, has in no way uh, reduced the level of corruption of the pork barrel system. No? Uh, yung naririnig natin ngayon pork barrel scam, lahat to mga projects na in-identify ng mga legislators allegedly, mm -hmm. they're all in the menu. Mm -hmm. So in other words, kung ano pa mang mga safeguards, new safeguards uh, uh, ang, ang uh, implement ngayon, mm -hmm. there's always, you know, where there's a will, there's, There's a way. A way. Oh. Ano? Bantay na ng, ng legislator yun. No? Mm. Siyempre, kailangan niya din makita kung fake ba yan, ano, ano ba yan, ano ba yung mm. ano ba yung NGO na yan, na ano yun, nakaregister ba talaga yan. Mm. Eh yung agency rin na, na nag-execute yan, kailangan alam din niya kung fake yun o hindi. Mm. Kasi kung ano yun, mas kunchaba yung agency right. na yun, oh. it takes two to tango, oh. di ba? It's not the pork barrel that's at fault, mm. di ba? It's the one who uses it. Right. Precisely, uh, pinapakita, pinapakita nga ng pork barrel scam is how corruption has been institutionalized. Pero ilan uh, naman yun? Dahil, uh, you know, you have allegedly uh, a large number of legislators nominating projects to uh, this, this, this uh, you know, this, this, just this small group, this mm. private group, yung group mm. ni Napoles. Yeah. No? And... Uh, as, he, as uh, Congressman Albano said, uh, hindi lang mga legislators to, yung executive branch, meron ding uh, uh, complicity dito because mm. they, they, they approved, allowed. You know, mm. they allowed the projects. Mm. Uh, how come no one even checked kung totoo ba talaga itong mga... Yeah, there, you know, there are, there, are you talking about uh, X number of uh, 23, like 23 congressmen 20, and 5, 23. five senators were involved, diba? and they never got to check? Yeah, and how come, and th this has been going on for 10 years at least, no? Mm. And if the whistleblowers hadn't come mm. out, then we would have been none, none the wiser and mm. the racket would still be Pero kung ongoing. If they were able to, if I may play devil's advocate here, if they were able to the system, as Congressman Albano said, na, you know, the, the checks and balances is, is, more, is, is improved, do you think that there's a, a chance that you will be swayed to at least consider that there, you know, pork barrel has some, some good in it? Well, I think uh, the way the system is set up, uh, impossible talaga yung uh, okay. na magkaroon ng effect. So talaga may problem ang system sa iyo. Sa iyo because, system, oh. you know, you're talking about oh, more or less 300 legislators here nominating thousands of projects every year. Uh, government does not have the capacity to vet, to go through every single oh. project and verify whether or not uh, totoo ba tong uh, beneficiary na to o na-implement pa talaga ito. Even COA, yung, yung mga COA audits, you know, they, they, they take place and you, you get the results a year or two years after the project was implemented. So, uh, by the time COA steps in, eh, naitakbo na yung pera. And naisoksok ta sa mga dollar accounts where mm -hmm. no one, not even the President or the Supreme Court can, Pero, can, 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 can get them. Ano, mm -hmm. Nung ginamit mo yung port mo, okay naman, di ba? 
Oh. Yes. Oh, kaya nga, oh. exactly. <laughs> oh. Kaya nga yung point, oh. kaya nga yung point congressman, di ba? Nasa gumagamit yan, di ba? Mm. So, huwag mo naman lahatin na lahat ng ano dyan sa institusyon mm. na yan, lahat ganun sila ka, kasama. Kasi, gano'n ang mga katulad mo, di ba? Hindi natin nila lahat ang lahat ng mga legislators. Kaya nga, exactly. But, but exactly, point... yung sinasabi ko, may, may mga katulad mo din. Uh, may mga militante, mga kabayan na uh, nagmamahal talaga uh, sa bayan. May mga katulad mo, tulad uh, natin. Uh, uh, maganda yung ginagawa. But, but, uh, I'm just saying, uh, yeah. ang point natin, yung the system itself, mm. you know, is a system, is an institutionalized yes. system All right. uh, of patronage and corruption. Oh, yeah, it, and prov it provides the, uh, the environment the for framework. corruption. Yeah, but you're saying it provides the environment yeah, for sa, corruption. Sa, sa, that's ngayon, what we want to change. Sa panahon ni Pinoy ngayon, sa panahon ni Pinoy ngayon, mm -hmm. sa tingin mo, ito sila Pinoy na ayaw talaga nila ng pera. <laughs> Itong mga ito, nakagalit sa pera. Pinoy, si Marroca, si, ano yun, si Singson, mm -hmm. si Butch Abad. Sino pa ba yung mga galit sa pera dyan? Sila Alcala. Ay, di siya mani. Ayaw nila ng ano. In place na lahat yung mga gusto nila ini-institutionalize nila laban mm. sa corruption. Ang dami right. na nila. Una, na yung... una, we can't say that they, they shun money, ayaw nila sa pera. One thing Sila, we do know si Pinoy, is that this administration ano, ano is... Ano matay tatay niya? Is, <laughs> gugusto niya pa ba niya pera? Kapalit ng buhay ng tatay niya at nanay niya? This administration is no less a master of patronage politics. Oh, okay. you know, using government resources in mm. order to to build and expand the political base of the ruling party, the Liberal uh, Party. All right. no? So, mm. ginagamit yung pork, <laughs> no. allocation okay. of resources. Sorry to cut in. Uh, but, oh. Sorry, of course, we're running, out of, we're running out of time. But, uh, but uh, let me... Which is, oh, just, yeah, just, just a point. Which is why the President himself has made his position known that he is not for the abolition of pork. No? Is it because uh, of that? To expand this political party? Yeah, well, yes. Liberal, <laughs> even yung, na nalong, hindi liberal, ha? Ang dami na nalong Even yung, uh, <laughs> yung uh, expose originally, <laughs> nung unang lumabas, di ba so, nga ang nagsabi, bakit puro mga no. kaaway ng administration lang yung, yung uh, name, no, name dito no, sa pork no. barrel scam? Subsequently, may mga lumabas na, even allies of the president. Right. No? Well, unfortunately, oh, yeah. we're running out of time. Siguro, another, another, ano, we need another session. No? But uh, just to wrap up, no? can a politician serve as a, a congressman well uh, without, uh, without uh, the pork barrel? Quick, quick answer. Of course. And that, as legislators, our first uh, task, uh, principal task, is to make laws and to make sure that the laws are implemented. All right. no? Okay. Uh, we're not there to dole out uh, government resources okay. to our constituents. That's right. not our function. All right, Congressman well, well, can I can say? Mm. Uh, budgeting is lawmaking. Mm. We have right. the power of the purse. Mm. And again, I'll reiterate my stand. Taxation without representation. Sabi nga ni Rudy Farinas, is tyranny. Diyan <laughs> nagka-revolusyon sa Amerika noong araw. Mm. Dahil sa ganyan ginawa ng king na tinataksan niya yung ano, without any representation. All right. All right, okay. Well, the debates about pork barrel has uh, begun, uh, but uh, actually it started a long time ago, but it's continuing. Uh, but how can we expect reforms if it means taking away heaven to some politicians? After all, the issues that, that hound pork barrel and the politicians' subsequent uh, uh, standards, stands, and reactions to these are just manifestations of a certain truth towards themselves and the nation's political maturity. Let's ask ourselves and the legislators, are we still willing to entrust these large sums of money to our politicians if many far-flung provinces are still below poverty line? And the social weather stations reports that this week that more Filipinos are uh, claiming to be hungry. Now, the most decisive resolve to this issue is our vigilance as citizens as to where their money came from and where it goes. Now, at this point, let's take a final look at our online poll. Our question is, is it high time to abolish the pork barrel? Little movement. Yes, abolish pork barrel, 57%. And no, do not abolish. And that's our opposing views for tonight. Thanks to our guests. And tune in again next week for another bold and engaging discussion on the most relevant issues of today. I'm Rod Dipomaseno. Good night and God bless.
maraming matutulungan yung uh, yung PDAF ko. Um, in fact, ngayon, ang dami nung humingi sa akin ng uh, medical assistant. Hindi po kailangan ang panukalang batas para i-abolish yung PDAF. Mauwi talaga sa awa yan kasi marami dyan nag... With this setup, do we see even a trace of hope in calling it a day for the pork barrel or it's just another day for the so-called great equalizer to which the politicians' constituents pin their hopes on? Welcome to Opposing Views, a hard, straightforward discussion of today's most pressing issues. Time and again, the long-standing system of pork barrel has always been the focal point of many controversies, which include blame games and casting doubts. Mas find a way to make sure that the people who are suffering from the PDAF is implemented properly. What can be assured is that the investigation will be thorough and will be impartial. A whopping 10 billion peso scam involving at least five senators and 23 representatives made it to the headlines of newspapers, television, and cyberspace. The said scam allegedly involves a certain Janet Lim Napoles, the suspected syndicate leader of a Bogue 90. It seeks to channel financial subsidies directly to local government units for projects such as infrastructure and healthcare. Congressmen can receive up to 70 million pesos, while a senator gets at least 200 million pesos annually. According to the report of PCIJ, or Philippine Center for Investigative Journalism, President Noynoy Aquino is the first president to purposely fatten the budget for pork barrel from more than 24 billion pesos in 2012 to 30 billion pesos this year. This non-government organization where pork barrel funds were purposely maneuvered. Private investment po, tsaka sasama ko po kay sa Indonesia. Due to a political firestorm concerning pork barrel, some groups call for radical reforms, including its total abolition. But the other side refuses, saying that it will just create tougher problems. The pork barrel system, officially called as Priority Development Assistance Fund, or PDAF, has been in place since the year 1990.